You have a victim mentality that you cannot go for your goals or achieve what you want to achieve because there's always something holding you back when that thing is only existing in your reality. Only you care about that thing. No one else does. What is a victim mindset? Is when you blame external factors for your state of lack and your shortcomings. We aren't born with a victim mindset. This is something that builds within us in time. Our victim mindset is a culmination of a bunch of different things that we've gathered throughout our life. It could be your own insecurities, identifiers that you use on yourself, or it can be a culmination of other people's limited beliefs that now you carry. When we are in a victim mindset, we get extremely comfortable within it because all our lives we're surrounded by other people who do the same things and validate our thoughts, our feelings, our limited beliefs. Because they validate it, we think it's totally normal. And we also don't want to put in the work to try and shift it because, you know, we're comfortable. We have people that validate us. We have family that taught us these things. So you feel less alone. You're scared of not living in this victim complex anymore because you know it'll make you face your trauma. It'll make you face your guilt and your shame. And all your internal biases and limited beliefs are going to change. And you probably aren't ready for that. But if you clicked on this video, I think you're at a really good start. What is a limited belief? A limited belief is something you tell yourself that not everyone would tell themselves. Me saying all men cheat, all men lie. A woman in a happy marriage would say the opposite, right? That's a limited belief. Limited beliefs can be rooted in money, your own identity. It could be about your looks or where you grew up. Saying I grew up in an inner city, I can't achieve this max amount of income. You believe that you can't achieve or do certain things in your own life because you cling on to these limited beliefs and identifiers when the only thing that is holding you back is you. You are more than what you look like. You're more than grades. You're more than what you do at work. Who you are is at the soul level. You can shift out of a victim mindset, but you have to put the work in first. You have to acknowledge and accept everything that's happened in your past. This is the first step and it's probably the hardest step to get through. You have to end all the denial. Every time you ignore something from your past or want to pretend that it doesn't affect you in the present day, you are denying yourself growth and you are consistently repressing your trauma. It's important when you want to accept yourself, you have to let it all resurface and let all those emotions come up so you can finally understand how to let it go. Because your past is what you're clinging onto because it's your body trying to keep you safe. It's all that your body knows and understands. And as your body's trying to keep you safe, it's going to replay all the things in your past because you're used to those things. Those have happened to you before. Your mind knows how to work through them. But the issue with that is you're not allowing room for growth. You're not allowing your mind to expand beyond the past and stay present in your reality. Your past is the root of why you feel powerless and why you feel like you cannot change. It's time for you to validate your own pain. Look at yourself and say, I know what I've been through and I I know that this hurt, this made me mad, this made me angry, and I regret this. But I know that just because that is a part of my past and it was once a part of me, that doesn't mean that I need to carry it into the present day. That doesn't mean that those things actually define who I am. Validate your own pain and don't sit there in a victim mindset and sit with other people with these victim mentalities and have them validate your sadness and your past and pain for you. Because all you're gonna do is keep repeating the same thing. You need to validate yourself. The reason you need validation from other people is because you haven't done it for yourself yet. Once you accept your past and you're able to validate your own experiences without the opinion of others, then you'll be able to move forward. The next step is you have to reframe your mindset. You need to sit down and think to yourself, what was the lesson here? It taught you something. It did something to you more than just the negative. You are more than just that low vibrational experience. There is high vibration in there. All the heartbreak that I ever endured, all the times I spent so much money on guys that were not worth it, planned dates, I never understood why until I met my husband and I found a man that loves the way I do. I never had that. And I don't think I would have gotten it now if I hadn't gone through everything I went through. I realized, okay, I'm not messing around anymore. This is what I want. And I didn't self-sabotage. I didn't stay in a victim mindset. I didn't keep telling myself that there are no good men out there because when I found him, yeah, I was scared, but I said to myself, I am not messing this up. You get to choose if those experiences define you or you define those experiences. You create your reality from your mindset. If you sit 
in a state of lack, a victim mindset, you are always going to be lacking money. You're always going to be lacking love and friendships. You're always going to miss the bus when you go to work. You have to fill up gas at six in the morning when you forgot the night before. If that's the mentality that you set for yourself and you keep for yourself, that's all you're going to receive. Take what happened to you and give it a new meaning. There are no rules to life. You can change the outcome of what happened to you into something that changes your life for the better. My next tip that I think is close to being as hard as the first one is you must forgive people from your past. Because if you do not forgive them, all you're doing is continuously punishing yourself. You not forgiving those people that hurt you in the past, that does nothing to them. They don't know that you don't forgive them. You are just punishing yourself for consistently thinking about that person and what they did to you. The low vibrational energy that you carry from thinking about them, from the past traumatic experience you had with them, whatever it may be, that is what's keeping you stuck and it's keeping you from healing yourself. You need to learn that whatever they did to you is now for them to carry and for them to learn from. You don't control their life. You can't tell them that breakup that happened, yeah, they should feel this way about it. I hope they think about this. You have no control over that. How they deal with it is how they deal with it. You have your own life to live. You need to put yourself first now and you need to think of, okay, how am I gonna get over this breakup? How am I gonna get over this, this loss? Don't make someone else's burden yours. Don't make their problems yours as well. Don't make it, oh, I hope they regret this. I hope they never heal. Anytime that you wish something like that on them, it's because you secretly feel that for yourself. You aren't healed. You will always have that burden. You need to give yourself the gift of forgiveness, of being able to actually let go. You've accepted your past. Now you must accept and forgive those who hurt you. That is the only way you can move forward. If you live the rest of your life in resentment for someone and not getting over what you need to get over, you are just punishing and hurting yourself. My last tip to help you get out of the victim mindset is you need to embody your authentic self. You are ready to start delving deep and understanding who you are authentically. You don't let your past define you. You don't hide behind your trauma. You don't allow what happened in your past to rule your present. You are who you truly are at a soul level without anything identifying you, without past trauma defining you, any of that. All of it is gone. True healing is when you embrace who you are with those flaws, with what happened to you. You can acknowledge what happened to you and how you learned from it and what you faced, but it does not define you. When you finally discover who you are authentically, you will discover your own gifts that you have, talents, whatever it may be, something that only you have. It could be this, it could be talking to a camera. There's a bunch of videos that you could have clicked on, but maybe something I specifically said is what's keeping you here till the end. You needed to hear it from me. I worded it a certain way that you needed. That could be my gift to you. And if I didn't heal from my past and I stayed stagnant, I wouldn't be here making these things. I wouldn't be here helping you or wanting to help people or wanting to build a community of women that want to become strong. You benefit from embodying your authentic self and you will attract people who appreciate you for your God-given gift for who you are at the core, at a soul level. You no longer have people in your life that were friends with you or just liked you because you had that same victim mindset because you wanted to be at low vibrational. Now your authenticity is your superpower, your superpower to get you anything that you desire, the friends that you want, the dream job, the money you need to make, your dream car, whatever it is, you no longer have all those limiting beliefs You've let go of the insecurities. You don't let your past define you. And now you can actually understand what you truly do believe, what your values are, who you are as a human being, not just as any identifier that you have. You are meant for so much more. And once you're able to release everything that's holding you back, you will be able to achieve what you thought only in your wildest dreams you could do. Our minds are way stronger than we realize and we can reshape our reality, we can reshape our mindset, we can literally change our own lives just by forgiveness, acceptance, learning. It's that easy. You have to want to want it so bad that you are willing to do whatever it takes to find who you truly are. Anyone is able to do this.
you are not the only one watching this you are not the only one who feels like this more than just you realizes there is more to life than this sadness than grief than guilt than shame than anger there's more to life than your past there's more to life than just reminiscing over what could have been your could have been can happen if you can dream it and see it and think it it's not that far off from your current reality you can get there you just have to put in the work and truly believe in yourself and accept yourself for who you are back then so you can make room for who you are going to become now i really hope you enjoyed that video i was really really passionate about this one and i hope this helps some of you to get out of that victim mentality to understand that there is so much more for you so i will see you ladies in the next video bye